In this, the first episode of the year, we talk about passwords, an update to blogoklahoma.com, and the top five things I'll probably do in 2017. Oh, and if you hear a slight rumbling in the background, that's because it's raining. A nice freezing rain right now. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Let's hope the power stays up. Welcome to Blog Oklahoma. With all the news of Russian hacking and leaked emails, I think it's good we take time to review our online security. So let's talk passwords. Hey, let's be honest. Passwords are one of the more annoying things we have to use to be online. But it's a very necessary annoyance. And because many of us have several different accounts online, getting lazy with our passwords is a very easy habit to fall into especially when we have to rely on our own memories. <laughs> Here are a few things we should be doing with your passwords. First, you should use a unique password on each of your accounts. Don't reuse the same password across services. That means a different password for your Twitter, a different one for your Facebook, a different one for your email, and yet a different one for your online bank. So if for any reason, someone was able to get your password from one of your services, it makes it much more difficult for your other accounts to be accessed. I totally get it. This one thing is going to be one of the biggest headaches of all. What password did I use for this account? I think I ask myself that at least once a week. I'll have a tip for that a little bit later. Next, use long and complex passwords. The reason for this is it makes it much more difficult for hackers to guess or decipher your password. Many services, like online banks, already require you to do some of this. Use passwords that are over, let's say, 12 characters long. The longer, the better. Use mixed case, capital and lowercase letters, numbers, and punctuation marks. Now, you don't have to. But it's best to avoid dictionary words like monkey or banana. <laughs> if you do use actual words, avoid normal capitalization, sentence structure, and natural phrasing. In other words, you shouldn't use this is my password as your password. Oh, and if you do use number substitution in words, avoid using zero for O's and one for I's and L's. That trick has been learned long ago. <laughs> now, to add to your headache even more, <laughs> you should somewhat regularly change your passwords. No! I hate that! Oh, I'll never remember them. <laughs> but it's a, it's a necessary thing we have to do. In fact, many services already make you change your passwords regularly. <laughs> okay. Now that you have a long, complex, different password on each of your accounts, you're secure, right? Um, maybe, and no. <laughs> There's something more you can do. You can turn on something called two-factor authentication. As if this password thing wasn't complicated enough. Now, not every service has this as an option, but for those services that do offer it, I suggest turning it on. What is two-factor authentication? It uses your mobile phone as a secondary identification source. So after you type in your password at a website, you get sent a text message with a number in it. And then you go back to the website with this number, type it in, and you can get into your website. Some services offer apps that will do kind of the same thing, except it might be as simple as a big, is this you button. <laughs> so now are you secure? Most likely, yes, but <laughs> unfortunately, you can never be sure. With your data being housed by a third party, 
You just have to trust your data is secure. The hackers might not even get access to your stuff through you, but by some other hack. You'll hear about data breaches in the news, and it's very unfortunate. Just ask Yahoo. <laughs> but this honestly is an exception. For the most part, your data is secure. Your password and much of your information is encrypted. So even in the unfortunate case they did get it, they can't use it. Okay, now the tip I was going to mention. Now beyond writing down your passwords in a notebook and then storing that in a place only you can get to it, there are password services and apps you can use to store your passwords. And when you visit a website, they could even enter it in for you. The one service I like and recommend is called LastPass. LastPass encrypts all your information and only you have the encryption key to get into it. So now instead of having to remember all your passwords, and let's face it, most of us can't, you now have to remember one master password to LastPass. Oh, and trust me, remember that one. This week's Blog Oklahoma writing suggestion is, What advice would you give on online security? I look forward to reading it. Oh, and speaking of security, blogoklahoma.com is now a bit more secure under HTTPS. I want to thank the Let's Encrypt organization and our web administrator, Dennis, for setting this up. We just turned this on Thursday, so I don't have a lot to report on yet. But when I do, I'll be sure to let you know in a future episode. Maybe. <laughs> Are you someone who blogs in or about Oklahoma? Then you already qualify for WebRing membership. Join Blog Oklahoma today. Want to know more about Blog Oklahoma? Then just explore the WebRing and discover some of the best blogs and podcasts in the nation. Just visit blogoklahoma.com for more information. Here are the top five things I'll probably do this 2017. Number five, likely get an MRI on my knee. I really tweaked my knee in November and it hurts. <laughs> yeah, what am I laughing for? It hurts. <laughs> Number four, exercise more, which is going to be difficult because of number five. Number three, Take time to write some more. I've let that slide a little bit. <laughs> and number two, be more social on social media. I've fallen into the habit of just sharing links and stuff. I haven't been communicating that well. Let's get more social. And the number one most important thing of the top five that I'll probably do this 2017 is put out a regular podcast. That would be nice, wouldn't it? I hope you had a festive holiday season and a great start to the new year. November and December were just so full of happenings that uh, there was just no way I could put out a podcast. But it's definitely really nice to be back. <laughs> now, of course, uh, barring any other interruptions, I should be back to the regular weekly schedule for quite a while. Well, now that I'm back, how have you been? Did I miss anything? Did you know we have our own cafe press store? Of course you didn't. I've been gone for two months. I haven't told you. Hey, we have our own cafe press store. There you can purchase a t-shirt, coffee mug, and other great items with the Blog Oklahoma podcast artwork on them. So please just head on over to cafepress.com slash blog Oklahoma podcast. I've added even more great music to the Blog Oklahoma bonus playlist on Spotify. There is now well over 17 hours of music for you to enjoy. I have links to this and more in the show notes at blogoklahoma.net. Oh, I want to remind everyone you now have several new ways to listen to this podcast. So besides the website at blogoklahoma.net, you can subscribe to the podcast with iTunes, Player FM, or the favorite podcast app of your choice. You can also listen to us with Stitcher, TuneIn, iHeartRadio, Google Play Music, and YouTube. And many of these services are already available on the media device of your choice, including iPhone, 
Android, Apple TV, Amazon Fire, Chromecast, and Roku. Speaking of Roku, please feel free to install the Blog Oklahoma podcast Roku channel. So you see, you have many ways to listen to us. I have links to all these services and methods I mentioned listed at blogoklahoma.net. And thank you for listening to the Blog Oklahoma podcast. I'm happy to announce, as of January 15th, 2017, Blog Oklahoma has 917 registered Oklahoma bloggers. Your feedback is important, so please feel free to contact me with your comments or questions. You can get hold of me in a multitude of ways. Just visit blogoklahoma.net slash contact for more information. Check our show notes for all the links and bonus material from today's episode. This has been Kevin Latham for Blog Oklahoma. Until next time.